Hey guys, Wagwan, how you doing? It's your homegirl Tifa Hassan, and welcome to another episode of Another Angle. Another Angle by Tifa Hassan. <laughs> Anyways, how you guys doing? What's it been? A week? <laughs> but yeah, I love to be back on your screens. On today's episode of Another Angle, we're talking something very weird. I don't think these things are spoken about enough. As much as it's spoken about enough, at least one part of it is spoken about a lot, but the other part isn't spoken about enough. And this is red flags. Yes, 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 we talk about red flags a lot, but we mostly talk about red flags in relationships and dating and all of the stuff. But we do not talk about red flags in friendships enough. So today we're going to be talking about red flags in dating and friendships. And I've got four amazing guests in the studio with me who will be giving their candid opinion as per usual. I've got Bemi. Hi, my name is Gimsala Dacosta. I'm an event planner and a fashion designer. I'm Ella. Hi guys, my name is Ella Spiffy and I'm a fashion enthusiast, a model, a marketer and I am into crypto mining. I work with a mining company called Poldos. I've got Ize. Hello, I'm Ize. I'm a fashion designer. And of course, I've got Ikoyi with me. Hi guys, my name is Timitara. I'm a Polaria Budari. Some people call me Tiamo, most people call me Ikoyi. Let's go on a short break and we'll be right back. guys welcome back to the show yes it's still another angle with Tifa San and like I said earlier we're going to be talking about red flags in dating and friendship yes we talk about red flags in dating a lot but I've never really heard people talk about red flags and friendships are they a thing I didn't know anything are they, are they actually look out for red flags and friendship or should friendship just be like oh I like you I like you let's be friends as usual we'll be giving you a few social media posts that actually support that red flags I think to look out for or red flags are just things that we would like to in our head like this one the social media post that we just saw it is time to get right into the conversation so guys what do you consider as red flags define red flags in your own terms red flags are those things to watch out for those warning signals along the way that you have to watch out for in order to make things successful red flag is what should not um, the other person shouldn't do or what you shouldn't do to each other you know it's something that people take advantage of in relationship because you feel that you can amend it when it's been said or observed and talked about like the first time, the second time, the third time, but then you keep doing it and I'm like, the fuck is wrong with you? Red flags are things that would obviously point you in the direction of saying no or not wanting to, or for you to be able to draw a conclusion to decide not to want to be with somebody or be in a friendship or a relationship. It's like a major pet peeve and if anybody does it like, with me, like my partner, if you do that consistently, bro, that's, that's, that's going to be a very big problem. So, red flags are those things that would let you know that, uh, no, this is a bad idea. Some will say they are warning signals, some will say that there are things that we cannot tolerate over time in any form of relationship. In light of your definition of red flag, what are some of your red flags? Can you share? In terms of relationship, I cannot. Okay. I can't. I can't say this is a red flag. When I love the person, sometimes I just overlook a lot of things. Um, in dating, the first red flag is inconsistency because if you can't even stay consistent for the first few weeks, what, what are we doing here? I certainly don't want to be with somebody who talks too much. I'm a very understanding person. Don't get me wrong. Like, I feel when there's comprehension in a relationship, I'm good with anything so long as you can actually talk to me about it instead of me finding out in a really horrible manner and I'll feel very, you know, my trust will be bruised and all that shit. When the communication is not flowing properly, that's if we used to like chat constantly or give each other updates, 
let's keep it at the 100, let it not drop at any point because we're now dating so we're more comfortable with each other. No, 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 no. Keep the same energy. <laughs> Jealousy? Jealousy can be cute sometimes, yeah, but it can grow into the green-eyed monster really, really fast. When you talk too much, like, bro, you're a fucking guy, man. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you talking? You are talking and you are talking. You are gossiping. You are ranting. You are nagging. You are a man. I should be doing that. You should be shutting me up when you choke me. You don't do all that shit. And you know, don't do, don't do that. Like, don't, don't be all, don't be, don't, don't be, don't be like a bitch. If you cannot, you know, keep it together. Not every conversation is meant for everybody. You know, something happens and then you're all posting about it and all that. Nah, nah, nah. And it, and if we argue and the argument goes to the next day. That's a red flag, bro. Like, I cannot handle people like that. Somebody who is tidy, I mean, a lot of people are not, you'll be shocked. So, ah, you're really putting me on the spot here. <laughs> Inability to, in to communicate. I'm the kind of guy that it's all right until it's not. So if you don't give me a reason to second check, or then we're good. And when you take my love for granted, bro, like, I'm clearly seeing the bullshit that you're doing. I'm talking to you about it. I'm ignoring it. I'm trying my best to communicate through it. And you're still being a dick. Pack your bags, bro. Pack your bags, bro. You are going to Afghanistan, like. I really don't know how I feel about Gwimi saying um, she said sometimes overlook red flags in I'm very big on look out for the red flags and what is it about talking that people don't like I mean I don't like yeah I don't talk too much but talk now which one is oh um, I don't like a guy that talks too much I don't like a girl that talks too much what's it about that how is talking actually even a red flag my god I don't know man but I mean, my guests don't know my guests don't know and I totally agree inconsistency is a no-no for me it's a major red flag for me I cannot deal with inconsistency jealousy um I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know how I feel about jealousy because, like it is said, jealousy can be cute sometimes. But I mean, this. I think jealousy on the line of obsession is where I have a problem with. I think that's where. Yeah. For me, I think jealousy on the line of obsession. Jealousy. So I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to share with nobody. Yeah, I love that. Keep myself with that. But obsession. Relax. So speak to me. What do you think is a common red flag that people tend to overlook in relationships that might lead to unsuccessful, you know, ships? Sailing. Because I think that people, when you meet a person and then physical attraction kicks in, you tend to overlook a couple of red flags. Like, what do you think is very common amongst especially young people that we tend to overlook? Lack of communication. That's the first thing. Assessment of character. Inability to communicate. Because you're all rose colored glasses and you don't really, you're all in love and you don't really pay attention to those things. It's just like moving on your own interpretation of the person. You can hear things like, I'm oh, I'm like a dead guy, or oh, I'm not good with communication. Girls always complain. That's them telling you there that this is their red flag. So you now still sit there, you date them, and for some reason you just hope that um, he will change with love or with time. It is not true. Personally, like, I mean, of course, I want to be with a fine woman. Are you kidding me? I want to have beautiful kids, right? But at the same time, I think is. It's not just about the appearance and you have to really be able to uncover and figure out what somebody is deep under their skin and not just what they show you. A reasonable amount of communication should be passed through. Yo, like you are seeing your boo doing this, you are seeing your bae doing this. Like bae, come on, let's talk bae, like bae, that's why we're together. <laughs> We can all agree that lack of communication is a big deal to everybody because I mean what are we doing if we can't communicate I don't understand it should be people that are actually in a quote-unquote relationship and they go oh they're having issues they don't talk to each other for days I was very shocked when I found out that people are actually in relationships that do not talk every day but if you're not talking to me every second we're not dating it's not working because <laughs> I don't know 
how are you doing it? I need someone to actually explain the dynamics to me because I do not get it. But yeah, moving on from that, because like I said, it's not my shoe, it's not me, it's not my call. I was not going to sign me. If that's a thing, oh well. That's for me, I don't know, I can't tell. But moving on, guys, um, we talk about red flags in dating and love, and this is where I want to really get into. We talk about red flags in dating and romantic relationships a lot, but we tend to not talk about red flags in friendships. Is it a myth or do red flags not exist in friendships? Like, speak to me. What do you think about red flags in friendship? Red flags shouldn't be in friendships. Why? Because it, it's a, it's a friendship. You meet each other, you get to know each other, you learn more about each other. I think we should treat all human relationships the same because the same issues that come in relationships come in friendships as well. So I think we shouldn't separate romance from platonic friendships. It's a, it's a kind of toxic situation because sometimes it gets to a point where you cannot take anymore. But that's why it's friendship. You have to think about that person. So when you get to a point where you, you have seen that, oh, I've spoken about, oh, I don't like you know, washing your plates. I don't like you doing this. I don't like you doing that. And they keep doing it. Then you can pull back. Reciprocation is more highlighted in platonic friendship because if I'm doing this for you and doing that for you, I need to get the same energy right back. I approach like every relationship and friendship the same way. So like I said earlier, like it's all nice until it's not. I, I'm always giving an extra hand. Like I'm the guy that will give an extra inch. So if, I like to see the good in people. So until you show me why not, then it's cool. But anything, yeah? Anything, even like being in a family, like your parents, siblings and shit, like we all have red flags. That's the imperfection that we are naturally born with. You know, it's inevitable. We must see rubbish every damn day of our lives, from, from even the closest of all. A lot of people think the way maybe you think actually. I think this is a very general. Um, this is actually not a general, like a majority um, consensus where people give a lot of leeway to friendships that they might not give to romantic relationships. But I'm of the school of thought of easy and equal, where I feel like you should definitely treat all relationships the same way. I mean, I, I'm, I think I'm as strict in my friendships as I am with my, my romantic relationships, and vice versa because. If I'm in a romantic relationship with you, you're supposed to be my friend. So anything I can't take from my friend, why am I taking it from you just because we're having, we added sexual relations to it or heart relations? Bruh, well, well, it's on the same level, man. It's on the same level. But speaking of red flags in friendships, what are a couple of red flags that you, say, you look out for in friendships? If you gossip, <laughs> zero, bro. I don't think anybody can tell you this is how it's supposed to be because each relationship is dynamic. Everybody is different. And to be honest, what works for you might not work for somebody else. I look out for jealousy because if someone is going to stab you in the back, you don't want to keep that person around and you need to pay attention to that. If you are someone that is a time waster, a time subtractor, a time divider, bro, don't come near me. Yeah, because I'd rather spend two hours having a meaningful conversation than spending two hours spiting someone that is making money. We all have our flaws, but there are just some flaws that we cannot deal with. Now, it's, it's for you to decide, oh, can I be friends with this person that is a thief or can't I do it? So you have to like leave them and tell them that, see, oh, the reason why I'm leaving you is not because I do not love you. It's because this particular character you have, I cannot stand it inability to relate like we have to have common activities common something that merges us you know why are you talking about this person okay example now this person is making her hair she's looking all cute she has all the 10 bone streets in the world like bro that's her luck now like she's she's in that she's in her grace maybe she chop her grace whether her grace or whether her luck i don't know whether she gets sugar daddy i don't give a fuck bro make she flex leave her you can't fake good character if you get what i mean so um, and you can't hide bad character too. It's just as it is. Your real personality will eventually come out over time, no matter what you do to suppress it. So I believe everyone should just be true to themselves. The world is big. There's a lot of people. At the end of the day, you would always find your clan.
Guys, I know we like to talk about gossiping, gossiping. Oh my god, I can't stand people that gossip. I, I can't have a friend that gossips. But let's be honest between you and I. Can we have a friendship and you don't gossip? I, I literally think it's impossible to be in a friendship and not gossip with a person. If you're not gossiping about another person, you're gossiping about your partners, about your work colleagues, it's almost impossible to not be in a friendship and not gossip. To be in a friendship and not gossip. I, I'm sorry, I can't be in a friendship and not gossip with you. You're my friend. Gossip will enter. But I understand if it's all you do, like all you bring to the um, table is gossiping. I don't want that kind of friendship. Like you have to have some type of value. In conclusion, guys, what do you think about red flags in dating, friendship, relationship, and every form of shit to be forming every human connection? What do you think about red flags in that? Hi, I'm Eze, and my angle on this is red flags are red flags for a reason. They are important. Look out for them, and they are there to save you. Energies have to align in order to create a successful relationship. Hi guys, um, my name is Tim Retire, Mofolari Obadari, like I already said earlier, um, you can call me Kui. And my angle on red flags in relationship is for you to pay attention and be genuine. You would definitely attract the energy you give out. Hi, I'm Ella Spiffy, and my conclusion on red flags is if you really see one, my dear, talk about it as soon as possible. Like, make things easy for both people. Like, rip it off when you have to rip it off. Hi, my name is Bemi Salada Costa. It is better for you to know your red flags, for you to have them already. Don't discover them in the person. Have your standard, have your red flags. Have them written down somewhere. So when you meet a guy, you check for all the red flags. You check for the ones that you can tolerate and the ones that cannot be tolerated. Red flags is like, it's just like some leech and shit, yeah? It just keeps feeding off you, drinking your blood from the host and shit like that till it's full. When it's full, it already lay shit in you. And when it leaves, another one will start from within. It just keeps going on and it's like an infection. So, bro, man, find a way to eradicate it as soon as possible. Never you think that a red flag is going to change because you have magic powers or because you have big bum bum. Mm -mm. It doesn't work all the time. They're going to break your heart, my darling. I'm just going to leave you guys with this. Red flags are red flags for a reason. Do not ignore them. Stay true to yourself. And like Demi said, highlight what you consider red flags. Look out for them in your friend, your relationship partner, whatever. And you know, don't go. There are some things that you just don't want to like compromise on. Don't compromise on things just because of physical attributes and physical outlook. Red flags are red flags for a reason. Pay attention to them. But yes, guys, on that note, this has been an amazing show. Of course, educating as usual. It might just seem like we're just doing banting, but I'm sure you take out one or two things from it because I definitely take out one or few things from my guests. They just don't go. I just don't listen to them and they go. No, I actually learned something. I hope you're learning something too from the show. It is another angle brought to you by Tifa Hassan. And of course, do not forget to follow at Tifa underscore Hassan on Instagram. And of course, follow at This Is Pop Central on Instagram. And keep it locked to Pop Central TV because this is the only place you can watch another angle and more entertaining shows. Until next time, guys, pay attention to your what? Red flag. Period. <laughs>